What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and man, do I have some awesome new features to share with you guys in the release of iOS 9.3 Beta 1, just pushed out by Apple. So we were stuck in a loop where Apple would release a new firmware, it would cause a lot of bugs, then Apple would release another firmware to fix that, and there were no new features in between. It would suck. I'd love finding out new features that Apple releases, yet in the latest release, iOS 9.3, there are a ton, a ton of new features, and I'm so excited to share them with you. So beyond the official change log, I actually discovered a lot of things that I didn't see anywhere, so I'm gonna share those with you as well. My favorite things so far has got to be this, 3D touch on your settings to get these toggles right here. Awesome. You can quickly get to Bluetooth settings, Wi-Fi settings, change your wallpaper, or go right into the battery settings from that toggle. But before I get into those little features, let me cover what Apple has officially told us about iOS 9.3. So they actually did uh, release the iOS notes and it's very formal. It's a big release actually. So the number one feature in iOS 9.3 has got to be the new low light mode. It's called night shift and here's where it is and how to use it. It's basically Basically, F dot looks built into iOS 9, and man, is it awesome. So go into your display settings, turn on blue light reduction, and you'll notice your display automatically starts shifting into this yellowish color. No longer do you have to sideload F dot looks, jailbreak to get it. It's built into iOS 9. If you want a cooler display, slide it this way. If you want warmer, slide it this way. Basically, Apple's got a lot of scientific uh, words, you know, fancy stuff in here that says, it's better on your eyes. Well, if it's better on your eyes, you should have done it a long time ago, but I'm glad it's here. So uh, you guys can go ahead and load this. It'll be down below in the description. Read everything there is, well, not everything, but most of the big features about iOS 9. Two, notes. So let me disable this. So notes has a new feature. You can now lock individual notes via Touch ID. So if you head over to the notes settings, in here, you can go ahead and select password protection. You can set up a passcode or use Touch ID. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up, I'll be right back. So now that I've got my Touch ID set inside of uh, the phone settings, let's go into notes, go into password protection and turn on Touch ID. So I'm gonna put in my password real quick. It's a separate passcode from your actual device, which is uh, pretty cool. So in order to lock it, you have to click up on the share settings and you'll see a new toggle, password protect notes. So now go ahead and enter your password and you have to do this individually, I'm guessing on every note. You get that animation and cool, your note is protected. Close out of notes. I just wanna see the toggle for it. And I'm gonna try and go in here. Cool, so that's exactly what it's gonna look like if you touch ID. Oh, there we go. So there we go. Cool. Super handy little feature in the notes app, password protect your notes. Next up on the list after the notes is the news application. So there's a new algorithm for the for you tab, which will basically give you a better selection of news personalized for your tastes. And uh, so it should be a little bit better. I don't have news set up, but it's fairly explanatory for what it is. Next, the health, there's a new interface and it becomes easier to discover health oriented applications. So if we actually go into the health app, man, I've never opened this thing, don't even use it. It looks like it's a little bit different maybe. So I don't see much change inside of this application, but Apple says it's there. So if I used it more, I'm sure I would. And next up, CarPlay. So with iOS 9.3, CarPlay adds even more useful features. So you'll get a new Apple Music tab for music discovery and that new nearby feature. So something we first saw in the Maps application, we'll be able to see what's nearby. And if we click right here, you should be able to see food, drinks, coffee, etc. using your CarPlay application, super handy. And there's a new education preview. So something that's gonna help shape classrooms. There's a lot of new education oriented features uh, such as group sharing and Apple didn't really make it clear what exactly they're adding here, but that's not something that concerns me, but why not have it? So really cool. That's the official, official changes from Apple right there, but there were some other things I did discover. So obviously if you 3D touch on settings, you'll get these new toggles. I've shown you that already, but there's some new ones as well. So here I've got 9.2. If you 3D touch on the clock, that's the only option you get. Now, if you do that, you can start a stopwatch and a timer as well. So a little bit more feature wise right there. You can now 3D touch on stocks and get a search option. So there are some new toggles for the App Store and uh, iTunes Store as well. So now instead of just search and redeem, you can update all and go to your purchased apps. And that's the same deal for iTunes Store. So really cool. One that was surprising to me that I saw, so Compass, something that didn't have anything before, now has 
a couple toggles, start the compass and start the level. Cool. And those are pretty much the biggest features, but there is a toggle I did find that I previously haven't seen in privacy. So now there's a media library category right here, one that I haven't seen before. And in the actual Apple news, there are some new settings in here as well for notification just about it. So uh, cool. That is pretty much iOS 9.3. Now I've got to tell you, this thing feels so much faster. Now I didn't have a problem with 9.2 before, but on older devices, 9.3, man, it speeds along. So I'm going to have a full speed comparison for you guys in just a little bit here, but wow, iOS 9.3 is awesome. That night shift feature, the toggles for 3D touch on settings. It's really impressive. And this came out of nowhere unannounced. So props to you, Apple, for adding something that we've wanted for so long. Now, if we could actually get a full system-wide night mode, that'd be a little bit better if we can get black colors and you know, applications that are all white. So this is pretty good for what it is though. And uh, absolutely love it. So thanks so much for watching guys. I'm going to have an update on how to install iOS 9.3 very soon, as well as the full speed comparison with 9.2. Enjoy iOS 9.3. If you do choose to update, it's an awesome firmware. Peace.